If you got nothing to do, well I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these bits, cause it's life hacks for kids. Hi, I'm Sunny, and I'm not only a life hack expert, but I'm a pet expert. Yeah, a pet expert, both of those combined, no? Anyways, today's episode is Pet Hacks Dog Edition. Ginger's a playful dog, but dog toys can be really expensive, unless you know the simple hack, the perfect pull toy. To make this, you'll need scissors and some old t-shirts. Cut three strips off each t-shirt. I use three different color shirts, but you can do whatever you like. Separate the strips into groups of three and place the strips together and tie them in a big knot near one end. Next, braid them. After you're done, tie another knot near the other end of your braided rope. Now your perfect pull toy is done and ready for action. Here, Gingy. Here you go. Whoa! Whew. Now that playtime's over, I think it's time for a nap. Time for my better sweater bed. For this hack, you'll need a pool noodle, a sweater, scissors, a pillow, duct tape, and some shoelaces. Insert the pool noodle into the sleeve of the sweater. Pull it all the way through and out the other arm. Then tape the ends together. Insert one end of the sleeve into the other to cover the end of the noodle. Next, put a soft pillow into the sweater's body. Cut a shoestring in half and tie a knot at the cut end. Use the shoestring to sew the neck of the sweater together. Use the same string to sew below the pool noodle. Again, use shoestrings to sew up the pillow inside and attach the bottom of the sweater to the arms. You're done. Comfy and cozy. What's that, Ginger? You're hungry? I have a hack for that. For this hack, you'll need a big bowl, a spoon, flour, a jar of baby food, and a pan. Mix one cup of flour with the baby food. Now, stir it. Here's a bonus hack. When your dog runs out the door, and of course it runs away, don't chase after it, but lie down and pretend you're hurt because they'll always come back for you. Knead it with your hands until the dough forms a ball. Shape your dough into cookies or any other fun shapes. Place them on a cookie sheet. Have an adult bake them for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Once they've cooled, they're the perfect delicious doggy treat. Bonafide delicious. I'm Sunny, and today's episode of Life Hacks for Kids is Cat-tastic. As you can see, I love cats, but I don't have one. So today, my dog Ginger will be playing the role of Gigi the cat. Oh, Gigi, aren't you just the perfect kitty? Well, it's time to make you my roly-poly treat ball. That's her way of meowing. Yeah. <laughs> this one's simple. All you'll need is an empty toilet paper roll, scissors, and some cat treats. Cut the toilet paper roll into five skinny strips. Pick the best four. Insert one strip into another so that it crosses like this. Now add the third, and finally the fourth. There, you have your ball. Now add in a few of your cat's favorite treats. Your cat will love batting this around to get the treat out. Here, Gigi. Good cat, good cat, good kitty cat. Who's a thirsty little kitty? All that playing has probably made her hot and tired. I think it's time to cool down with my hack tunicicle. You'll need the juice from a tuna can, some plastic cups, and a plate. 
Squeeze the water from a can of water-packed tuna into a plastic cup. If there's not enough juice, you can add a tiny bit of tap water. Place the cup in the freezer until it's frozen solid. Then take it out and put it on a plate. The tuna sickle will slide around your plate as your cat licks it for a refreshing treat. <sighs> I guess it's time for a cat nap, which means it's time for my last hack, my kitty cat hut hack. You'll need a lid from a big box, two wire hangers, a big t-shirt, pliers, and some tape. Use the pliers to cut off the twisted ends of your wire hangers. Bend each hanger into an arch. Then tape them together in the center. This will make a dome for your cat hut. Now tape each end into a corner of the box lid. Now take your t-shirt and slip it over the dome. Pull the sleeve down and tape it under the box. Repeat with the other sleeve. Now tape it. Finally, pull the bottom of the shirt tight and tape it in place. And there it is, your cozy little kitty hut. Hope you and your cat enjoy these cat-tastic hacks. Hi, I'm Sunny, and today's episode is Hack Diggity Dogs. Hello pet lovers, Sunny and Ginger here. Is your doggy bored? Does your poodle look pooped? Is your schnauzer a snoozer? When you tell her to fetch, does your chihuahua say, chihuahua? Well fear not! Today's hacks are designed to make every puppy peppier and every doggy dandier. Let's start the hacking with my cuter canine collar. For this you'll need scissors, hot glue, and a small collared shirt. Cut the collar off of the shirt. Hold it up to your dog to measure. If it's too big, cut the excess material from the center and hot glue the cut edges together like this. Now place it around your dog's neck and button the top button. The cuter canine collar. Ginger, you look absolutely fetching. When nature calls, don't let picking up doggy doo get you down. Conceal those ugly plastic bags with my doo doo the right thing do bag dispensers. For this, you'll need a washcloth, colored felt, hot glue, a keyring, ribbon, and scissors. Lay the washcloth flat. Fold in hot glue two opposite sides inwards about three inches. Fold the top down so it overlaps about an inch. Glue only on the sides. Now fold the bottom up about a third of the way and glue only along the sides. Cut out felt pieces to make eyes, a nose, ears, and a mouth. Hot glue to the front of the bag. Next, Place the keyring onto the piece of ribbon and hot glue the ends of the ribbon together. Lastly, glue the ribbon to the back of the bag and hook onto your dog leash. Load it up with the plastic bags and you're good to go. When your dog does what doggies do, do the right thing and look fashionable too. And finally, nothing perks up a pup quicker than a bouncy ball or a good treat. Did I say or? I meant and. This hack for your hound is a ball and a treat. Introducing my two-in-one treat ball of fun. For this, you'll need a tennis ball, a knife for scissors, dog treats, and non-toxic markers. Make a slice about three inches on the ball. Have an adult to help you with this. Squeeze the ball to open it. Stuff the ball with your treats. Now, since it looks like a face anyway, add some facial features. Done. Ready, Ginch? There you go. Ginger's 
having a ball. What a treat. Hope you enjoyed Hack Diggity Dog Hacks. Howdy, my pet loving pals. Today I'm honoring my BPFF. That's code for best pet friend forever, April. But today's hacks aren't just for your diggity dogs. They're for all your whiskered pals. So let's get started on even more pet hacks. Due to April's busy dog schedule, she couldn't be here today. Something about chasing squirrels? So I asked my best friend's best friends to help me out. First up, my crinkly crackly toy hunter, featuring Riley the Schnauzer. For this you'll need a long sock, scissors, and a plastic bottle. Put your water bottle into your sock. Tie the open end. Cut the sock into strips. And knot the ends, like this. And there you have it, your very own crackle toy. What do you think, Riley? <laughs> Looks like Riley gives this hack two paws up. Laying around can be just plain boring, even for your pet. Talk about Snoozeville. <clears throat> That's why I've come up with a way to entertain your paw pals all day long. And my little furry friend, Spartacus, is here to show us how. Time to make my peppy pet playpen. For this, you'll need a hot glue gun, bottle caps, pipe cleaners, ping pong balls, scissors, a pen, a ruler, a hole puncher, twine, and a cardboard box. On one side of the box, measure one inch from each side, making a square. Repeat on two other sides and the top. Get your parents to help you cut out the sides. Thanks, Mom. Cut off the excess strips. Now punch nine holes along the top of your box. Three on top of each open frame. Wrap two sides in twine. Hot glue a piece at the bottom. Then wrap it all the way up. Glue the top to secure it. Cut 12 pieces of twine at various lengths. Knot the ends of three pieces. Dab some hot glue on the top of a ping pong ball. Attach it to your string. Repeat with the other ping pong balls. Use a pen to poke holes in the middle of your bottle caps. Thread some string through each of your caps. Tie them off. Combine them in sets of three. Curl your pipe cleaners around your finger. Tie the toys to the holes you made. Here you go, little bunny. <laughs> A perfect play place for your cat, your bunny, or whatever other little fluffy animal you might be keeping in your room. Is your pet pal lazy, tired, or just plain pooped? Is your cat too fat to get up on the couch? Or maybe old age has gotten your pet down? Never fear, introducing the Easy Does It Pet Stepper. For this you'll need two different sized crates, felt, scissors, paint, a paintbrush, and a hot glue gun. Paint your crates. You don't need to paint the top of the small crate. You're going to cover this later. Then let those dry. Place your smaller crate on the large one. Center it, glue it in place. Measure your felt along the top sides of your crates. Cut them to size. Then glue them on top.
And there you have it, three pet hacks for your best pet friend. Aw, they're so adorable. Hey, a text from April. Hope hacks went well, didn't catch any squirrels. Oh, sad puppy face, April. Wait, when did April get a phone and how did she text me? Today's episode is Woo. Stupendous Small Pet Hacks. This is Squeakers. Squeakers is my pet hamster and she's as fun as she is cute. And she's super smart. Check this. Squeakers, if I have five apples and if I gave five away, what would I have left? See that? She's so smart. She said nothing. If I had five apples and I gave five away, I'd have nothing. Good job, Squeakers. Uh, I'm sure she just needs some rest after solving that math problem. Well, as a reward, I'm gonna hack her something fun to do when she wakes up. I've been saving popsicle sticks all summer and these are just what I need to make my sweet swingo sticks. For this you'll need large popsicle sticks, normal popsicle sticks, twine, chopsticks or wooden skewer, non-toxic markers, scissors, a knife, and a hot glue gun. First, use a knife to saw two chopsticks in half. Get an adult to help you with this. Now, color the sticks with the non-toxic markers. Glue three of the large popsicle sticks together in a triangle. Make another triangle. Next, lay 11 smaller popsicle sticks side by side. Glue one popsicle stick across the top and one across the bottom to hold the sticks together. Take one of the triangles and glue a chopstick at each corner sticking straight up. Turn upside down and glue the sticks to the second triangle. Cut two pieces of twine. Glue one end to one of the purple sticks on the bottom of the platform. Repeat with the other piece of twine on the other stick. Wrap both pieces around one of the rods. Glue the loose ends under the other side of the platform. It's ready for fun! Oh, she loves it! Bonus hack, her new rug is a duster from the dollar store. But even with the sweet new swing and rug, being in that cage all the time must get boring. If only there was a way to let her safely explore. There is my CD Woo! World hamster wheel. For this you'll need an old CD spindle case, colorful tape, and a knife. First, empty out the CD case. Then slowly poke holes on the top and bottom of the CD case by twisting the knife in a circular motion. Get an adult to help you with this. Then place a few strips of colorful tape on the inside like this for traction. Place the hamster inside and close the case shut. Now she's ready to explore. Just keep an eye on her and keep her away from stairs. Okay, Squeakers, time to get back into your cage. Squeakers is a great pet to hold, to play with, and I love to take funny pictures of her. And you won't believe the Insta gold you'll get with my last hack, my peep through costume cube.
For this you'll need markers, an empty box, scissors, a knife, glue, and coloring pages or a picture. Find coloring pages or photos the right size for your box and hamster. Or draw your own. You want the head to be about two inches across. Color or paint as you like. Trim the picture to the size of the side of the box. Now glue it to the side. Then, carefully cut the face out of the picture and box with the knife. Get an adult to help. Repeat the step on all four sides. Now, put your pet inside and get your camera ready. Don't let the big pets have all the fun. With these stupendous small pet hacks, your pet will be one happy hamster. Or jolly gerbil. Or merry mouse. You get the picture. See you next time. Say bye, squeakers. Hi, I'm Jillian. This is my hamster Squeakers, AKA Squeaky, AKA Squeaky Squeakers. And as you can see, Squeaky is very active. So let's make some hacks to keep her in tip top shape. Here are my healthy hamster hacks. Like all hamsters, Squeaky's got a very healthy diet. So let's help her keep eating right with my yogurt drop treats. To make this you'll need a baking sheet, plain yogurt, a spoon, a sandwich bag, and scissors. Open up your sandwich bag and put in about six scoops of yogurt. Zip it closed. Push all the yogurt to the bottom of the bag. Snip off a small piece of the corner of the bag over the baking tray. Squirt little dots of yogurt onto your baking tray. They can be any size or any shape you want. Oops, watch your bag if you have lots of rows. Put it in the freezer. Now scoop it out and put it in a container. Bon up a squeak. Do you like it? It's good, right? It <laughs> Did you know that hamsters are nocturnal? That means that when you go to bed, they're wide awake. So let's make sure that she has something to do after dark. Here's how to make my mini Muscle Beach Jungle Gym. To make this, you'll need two wrapping paper tubes, two paper towel tubes, an old oats container, a piece of black cardboard, a scrap piece of cardboard, a hot glue gun with non-toxic glue, scissors, a sharp pencil, a permanent marker, and a little drink umbrella, if you have one. Using your oats container, trace a circle onto your scrap piece of cardboard. Cut it out along the inside of your line. Set it aside. Take the top off your oats container. Draw a rectangle on the side of your oats container. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. Cut them out on the outside of the line. Grab your scrap cardboard circle and lay it inside your oats container. Glue it in place so it lines up with the bottom of your rectangles. Between the two openings, draw a little window. Cut this out and you can use a sharp pencil to get started. Set your tower aside. Using your flat cardboard piece as a guide, cut your wrapping paper tube into four pieces. These will keep squeaky inside my mini muscle beach. Maybe. Glue the tubes in place. Glue your tower onto your platform. I put mine a little off center. Now set this aside. Take your paper towel tube and cut about one third off the end. Flatten the bigger piece and cut one corner off each side. Set that aside. Take the smaller piece and cut it in half. Cut one of those halves in half again. Glue the small halves onto the edges of the bigger half to make a bridge. Cut three pieces of wrapping paper tube. Make them about the same length. Set all but one aside, flatten it, and cut one of the corners off. Glue your bridge and your support in place. 
It's time to make our slide for Squeaky. Cut your second piece of wrapping paper tube in half. And glue it to the lower lip of your paper towel tube. Now you have your slide. Glue your slide to the end of your bridge. And glue a last piece of wrapping paper tube underneath for support. Now make another slide and then glue it to the other side of your oat can. Close the top of your oat container and add an umbrella. Add any more tubes, signs, or decorations so your pet can have fun. Lift those weights, come on, work out. Go down the slide. Yay! Nothing's more important to a healthy lifestyle than beauty rest. Here's a place for Squeaky to rest her tiny, tiny head with my tiny hamster bed. To make this hack, you'll need a hot glue gun, popsicle sticks, safety glasses, an old sock, needle nose pliers, and a ruler. First step, put on your safety glasses. Make the base of your bed. Use your pliers to cut eight four inch popsicle sticks. Once you have your eight pieces, cut three three inch pieces. Cut off the curve on both ends to make sure each side's flat. These will hold the bottom of the hamster bed in place. Line up your eight four inch sticks next to one another. Glue one three inch piece of popsicle stick across the middle. Glue the other two on either side. This will be the bottom of your hamster bed. Now make the sides of your bed. Cut four more four inch popsicle stick pieces. Trim the curved ends off so both sides are flat. Use your pliers to cut two one and a half inch pieces. Trim off the ends. Since this one's small, you can use the same stick. Line up your four longer pieces next to one another and glue your smaller pieces close to either end. Repeat the step for the other side. Now make the foot of your bed. Cut four three inch long popsicle sticks and trim off the other end to make it flat. Cut two one and a half inch long popsicle sticks. Line up your four three inch sticks next to one another. Glue your two smaller pieces close to either end. Now that you have a footboard, it's time to make your headboard. The headboard's a little bit taller than the footboard. Cut five three inch long popsicle stick pieces and two pieces that are one and three quarter inches long. Lay your five long pieces next to one another and glue your two short pieces close to either end. You can take off your safety glasses because it's time to glue your bed together. Glue the headboard to the base. Then glue the footboard. Then glue on the sides. All we need is the blanket. Cut the ankle of your tube sock off and then glue it to your bed to make the bedding. Squeaky is going to love this. Time to rest, Squeaky. So cute. 